Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Making Off. A series that takes you behind the scenes on some of my big and small projects so that you guys don't take the same L's as I do. <laughs> I've always had so many questions about the creative space in the film industry that I've never really had any of the answers to or knew where I could get some of the answers from. And I personally learned a lot of things in my very, very limited time in the creative space. And there's still so much to learn, so I thought, why don't I bring you guys on this process with me? Film, photography, modeling, acting, music, and all of the creative projects in between. I know a lot of you guys have been on some tutorials, masterclasses, editing, editing. Here you go. And hey, maybe one day one of these will be titled Making of South African Oscar award winning film by Abongwe Luzuko Boy. I hope you guys enjoy and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's go! Going back in there is suicide. I mean, the place is rigged to explode. We don't have a choice. We can't let them take him. So how the heck did we get here? So it all began in the beginning of the year when I got contacted by a creative producer named Calvin Hayward. In the beginning of the year we were supposed to work together on some projects but Corona came and said nope. But eventually I made my way back to Cape Town after going all the way back to Joburg and I hit him up. He was like, dude, I have this idea. I want to make a Jerusalem challenge but for the South African film industry and I want you to help me write it and direct it. And so this man typed up his idea about doing a Jerusalem challenge for the film industry on his Facebook and it went crazy. And so we wanted to do something different to it so we decided hey why don't we write some kind of opening sequence that sort of introduces the Jerusalem challenge in a different way to any other kind of Jerusalem challenge. And so we start brainstorming these ideas for an opening sequence that we can shoot maybe something along the lines of action or drama but just something very impactful to sort of grab the attention of the viewer as well as something that could showcase the preparedness for the people who are working on the set for all the work that's gonna come in when the borders open again and at this point it's coronavirus so it's it's, it's quite clear that there's no budget I brainstorm so, sort of conservatively but I come up with this idea of doing an, an abduction scene and so him and I go back and forth changing some things playing with some ideas until we finally came up with something that we were somewhat happy with but as we start started writing, certain ideas started to get more va va voom Cal started saying things like, you know what we should do? We, we should have an explosion or a building and just You know, with an explosion and guns and And it should feel like that Netflix movie extraction with, the, you know, the, the cars and the And you know, the explosions and all the action And so I'm like, okay Cal <laughs> How are we gonna pull all of this off on a zero budget? And trust me, trust me when I say I know, I know what it is to make something on a zero budget. That's all I have, brother. But sure, we go ahead with the idea and so I start designing a treatment pitch, putting together some images, some references, some clips as to how we want the aesthetic of the beginning and the dance to be as a whole. So as we're finalizing the script and starting to get the idea more concrete and more fleshed out, people start get wanting to get involved. And the next thing, industry specialists from all over Cape Town want to get involved. They want to jump on. They are keen to join in. They say, yeah, we would love to be involved in the Jerusalem dance. What can we do? What can we provide? And so Cal starts roping these people together with his wizardry of producing knowledge and connections and like tying all of these knots together and finding the right people and finding people we can work with. And so it seems like this idea is also just sort of running on its own. And so literally every day it's a new call from Cal. Hey, how's it? Um, we have someone who wants to provide guns and explosions for Media us. Media Film Service and Panavision actually want to let us use six of their Ari Alexa mini yeah, cinema Oh, Listen, listen, Shamila Miller and Taikyo are actually keen to join in. They'd love to act and perform in this for us. And so I'm just like, oh, okay. No, cool. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great, that's great. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. And so we got incredible producers on board, James Marangani and Cheryl Etok. They were so, 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 the moment that they got on board, everything started moving, moving, bro. Like it was flowing like the waters, my brother. It was like a perfectly oiled machine. Like it was just, mm. And thus, the idea came to life. And that's when it all started. Tech Recky Monday. Tech Recky Monday, you know. <laughs> so to, to, today we have all our technicians on, on set with us. So we go through every day, everybody kind of gets onto the same page of what we're going to need to shoot the sequences, where everything's going to go, and how we need to plot and plan. We've got our first AD with us who's yeah. going to create a shooting schedule for the days. Okay. So it's like the final bits of prep before the big day. Yeah. yeah big day. Side, just shooting the dance down this way. If you shoot it from down here, and this way. And Cape Town Film Studios, one of the biggest film studios in Southern Africa, said, Hey, you guys can come and shoot on any one of our lots. So as we continued with the planning the days ahead, we had fittings with our actresses and actors, and we just finalized all the execution and plans that we needed for these specific days, because we only had two days to shoot this. So I got my brothers, Kian Small and Aaron Moore, to come with me on set to shoot some BTS for this. So huge shout out to them. They spazzed on the pictures and the videos. Make sure you go follow them on their social medias. They'll be here and they'll also be in the description. But after all of the planning and preparation, the team is ready. Alright, so this is my trailer. <laughs> what do you mean I have a trailer? <laughs> Dude, there's a bed. This thing is comfortable, but I'm staying the hell away from that because man's gotta work in that, you know. Got a bathroom, right? Let's actually enter this bathroom. Beautiful. Oh, there's a shower. My goodness. This trailer low-key bigger than my apartment. You know how Cape Town be, but hey, hey, hey. It's eight o'clock now. We got here like at seven. So pretty much we're just prepping. We're doing the last planning for the shots. Um, the technical team is already on set. We're just doing the final preparation. But um, we're ready and set to go, man. Like some of the best, best, best of the best people in the world are working on this. So I'm just like, uh, we're waiting for Shamila Miller from Blood and Water. Shout out, shout out Blood and Water people, you know, the vibes. We have Tyron Keo on this. It's gonna be crazy. Great actor, he's so good, he's so good. I'm so nervous, like, I'm literally. Uh, so now we're about to go on to set. But yeah, it's gonna be dope. Everyone's in makeup now, we're kind of prepping. It's gonna be so much fun. Well, I promise you, if we keep bumping heads, I know that we'll be safe. Probably talk on the phone, but see, I don't know if that's good. I've been holding back this secret from you. I probably shouldn't tell it, but if I let you know, you can come over, come over. Are you responsible? It's lunchtime for the boys. It's been going really, really well. Yeah, we're trying to wrap by six o'clock, day one. Um, then I get home and I go work and edit you with uh, and I have a slide with it, so cute. Right, in terms of food, we got some chicken, and we got some papa. He papa land, but it's papa from the Western Capes. This is really papa that went to private school anyway. And we got some beans on the side, we got a salad, dessert. Tell me 
me up at the park right now, up the block while everyone sleeps, sleep, sleep. I'll be waiting there with my toes, my loaves, my hat, just so I'm low key. If you tell the world, oh boy, see I'm trusting you with my heart, my soul, I probably shouldn't let you, but if I Happy birthday to you. Birthday. All I want to say is the best birthday present ever. I'm um, here with everyone and I'm loving it. Thank you very much for, for all coming on this wonderful day. Um, really grateful. Thank you. Yay! Morning, morning, morning. Um, so thank you so much, first of all, for having us. We're so excited about today. Um, we're most excited about the fact that today we get to celebrate um, extraordinarily the culture and the differences and diversity we have in South Africa. Uh, how's it? Uh, thanks so much for having us on. Well, it was, um, it was one of those lightning bolt moments. You know, I've been watching this story for a while. Cheers, bye. bye. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> I don't know how many millions of people heard that shit, bro. BBC World Service. <laughs> hey? Why are you recording this? Yeah, I recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> Day two, we are, we've just wrapped the first um, successful take at one o'clock. We've been here since eight o'clock. Like this one with this creature. We have some creatures of some, some really serious. And so far, so good. Um, this is weird. This is a lot. This is way too much. Like this is like <laughs> I'm trying to make this my life permanent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, friends, we're doing great things here. Yeah, it's gonna be incredible. Great Can't things. Wait for you guys to see it. Can't mm -hmm. wait for you guys to see it. Great things from a great guy. Absolute, the best right now. Uh, <laughs> Gotta say that on cam, secure my next job. Just saying. <laughs> he's right. He's right. He's right. <laughs> okay. Ooh. That's a wrap. I just needed to take a waz. Sun is setting beautifully. I'm not gonna do a sunset montage or anything because I'm tired. I just wanna go home. <laughs> so <laughs> edit. Like six hours of editing to still do. My life just doesn't stop. It just doesn't. Kelvin, you're my guy. Mad love to you. This happened because of you. And so I appreciate you bringing me on board. From your boy Abo, signing out. Bless up to the people. Peace. This whole experience was so crazy. I'm so grateful to Calvin Hayward for giving me the chance. He's, you know, so experienced in this space and he knows so much. And I had so many conversations with him that you know informed me on so many things and gave me so much insight into what the industry was and he really could have done this by himself he really is good enough to have done this by himself but he wanted to involve me because he wanted to create a collaborative space to james morangane and to cheryl etok and to each and every person that worked on this i'm so like i i keep saying the word grateful and it's making me uncomfortable but I, that's it to all of my young creatives don't let being the youngest person in the room stop you from contributing with your creative minds to the conversation. And that was something I had to overcome, feeling like, dude, I'm just this kid and everyone here knows exactly what they're doing. 
but at the end of the day it's about the story it's about what you believe in it's about the passion and if you come with respect and you come with a sense of wanting to learn and to grow and to contribute and to collaborate then that's how you become better as an artist and a creative in any space and that's what i believe is how you learn and become a better artist being a young black filmmaker is so difficult and i haven't even started all i know is that we forge our way into the rooms where the opportunities are or we make the opportunities for ourselves but either way we don't relent we don't give up and we never ever stop see you in the next one peace <laughs>